Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, China's technological breakthrough has made a historic leap and successfully manufactured a chip with performance comparable to 5 nanometers. At first, I couldn't believe it. You know, 5 nm level chips are the top level in today's science and technology, and they can't be made casually. But after I carefully read the analysis article of the foreign media, I had to admit that this is actually true. The article said that China used a technology called multiple patterning this time, and it was the most difficult quadruple patterning technology. This technology sounds very high-end, and you may not understand it. But in fact, it is to superimpose and process multiple patterns during the chip manufacturing process, thereby reducing the key parameters on the chip, such as unit height, gate spacing, metal spacing, etc. In this way, the chip that could only reach the 7 nanometers level, after being processed by this technology, the performance is comparable to that of the 5 nanometers chip. This is simply a miracle in the science and technology world. No wonder foreign media have expressed shock and disbelief. Speaking of which, the performance of this 5 nm level chip is very powerful. If the chips in the mobile phones and computers we usually use can reach this level, the running speed and processing power will be very good. Moreover, this kind of high-performance chip is also of great significance to the country's scientific and technological development, military construction, and other aspects. So, when this news came out, ASML was completely panicked. Why? Because ASML is one of the world's largest lithography machine manufacturers, and their lithography machines are key equipment for chip manufacturing. However, due to restrictions and blockades by Western countries such as the United States, ASML has been unable to export the most advanced lithography machines to China. Now, China has developed its own chips that are comparable to 5 nanometers performance, which means that China's demand for ASML's lithography machines may be greatly reduced. Isn't this bad news for ASML? No wonder they changed their attitude at the World Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Dutch Prime Minister Schoff directly stated that they would decide on their own what kind of policy to implement on the issue of ASML's export products to China and directly challenged the United States. Speaking of which, Prime Minister Schoff's attitude is really tough. He made it clear that the Netherlands would not follow the US policy, but would make decisions based on its own interests. This is a bold move. You know, under the pressure of the United States and other Western countries, many countries dare not easily go against their wishes. But this time the Netherlands dared to stand up and say no, which is really admirable. However, having said that, China has now produced chips comparable to 5 nanometers performance, which is really an amazing achievement. Behind this, the wisdom and sweat of countless scientific researchers have been condensed. They work day and night on the front line of scientific research, constantly overcoming difficulties and breaking through technical bottlenecks to achieve today's brilliant results. Moreover, I also heard that China's chip manufacturing technology is not only at the 5 nanometers level. In the future, China will continue to break through and produce higher-level chips. At that time, if ASML is still stubborn and refuses to export advanced lithography machines to China, then they may be really dangerous. 
because by then China may not need their lithography machines, but they themselves may face the crisis of bankruptcy due to losing the Chinese market. Chip manufacturing is not a simple matter. It involves a very long industrial chain, including chip material manufacturing, chip equipment manufacturing, chip design, chip foundry, chip packaging and testing, etc. These fields are interrelated and interdependent. No country can control all fields at the same time. Even a technological power, like the United States, has to rely on the cooperation and support of countries around the world to maintain its leading position in the chip field. Therefore, if China wants to make greater breakthroughs and development in the chip field, it must strengthen cooperation and exchanges with the international community. However, having said that, although China has made great progress and achievements in the chip field, China cannot be proud and complacent. Because China also clearly recognizes that compared with Western developed countries, there are still certain gaps and shortcomings in the chip field. For example, in terms of chip design, China still lacks some core technologies and patents. In terms of chip manufacturing equipment, China still has to rely on importing some key equipment and components. In terms of chip packaging and testing, China still has to improve the efficiency and quality of packaging and testing. Therefore, if China wants to go further and fly higher in the field of chips, it must continue to increase investment and efforts in scientific research, continuously cultivate and introduce outstanding scientific research talents and strengthen cooperation and exchanges with the international community. Only in this way can China achieve greater breakthroughs and development in the field of chips and make greater contributions to the country's scientific and technological development and economic construction. Moreover, I also believe that in the near future, China will surely become one of the powerful countries in the field of chips and make greater contributions to the development and progress of world science and technology. Well, that's all for today. I hope everyone can have a deeper understanding and knowledge of the chip field. I also hope that China can achieve greater breakthroughs and development in the field of chips.